Hey guys, how's it going? So, it's Pablo here again. Uh, in this video, I want to show you something really cool, really interesting. And I want to show you how we make uh, all the parts with this online. In this case, you can clearly see these are the coil pack mount brackets that we sell for the ignition upgrade for the RB26. Or we use the R35 uh, GTR coils on the RB26 engine. It's kind of like a CNC machine, but instead of cutting material, it's adding material, layer by layer. It's really, really high definition, so this is a bracket that's already finished. And look at the finish, you can even see the lines, too. Uh, the material is very, very cool because it's nylon mixed with carbon fiber, or it could also be Kevlar. So this is the carbon that I use, you can see right here, and I've tested this material uh, a lot already in different parts, it's really strong, it's almost as strong as metal, it resists the heat, the high temperatures, all, all the vibration, everything, so it's really really cool stuff, this is actually um, the kind of uh, materials that NASA use or you know all the aerospace companies so very very cool to use uh, so let me show you some other some other items that I have here so I have a this is an air duct you know for all the, all the road racing people it's very cool too and the good thing is that, is that I don't have to stock any of these items because once you click buy on the website all I do is just pick the, the file and I just print them on the fly so in a way I have all of them in stock <laughs> it really depends on when you order and what you order so this is the software uh, let me show you actually how it works Over exactly how the part is made. So what it does is the first layers are the, the nylon and the carbon and then I always add see these yellow lines I always add fiber like I said before it could be carbon it could be Kevlar it could be fiberglass I, I add a bunch of layers of these then more nylon in between so this is the part where the machine adds the fiber. It's this yellow section right here. It's very awesome. And what the fiber does is it makes the part stronger and more resistant to the heat. So that's why we are able to use these on an engine, on a car, you know. There it is, that's a close view. And then here, if you pay attention, it looks like a nut in there, right? Because what I do is, I embed the metal knot. I don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah, right there. So I embed the metal nut in there. So this is the part where the machine pauses, or actually I pause the machine and uh, I take the chance to insert the nuts on the part so when you screw in the, the coil pack you, know, you do it to a metal part not to to the carbon so that's that's uh, how it looks like I mean at the end you see the nuts are hitting in there you, you don't really see them from anywhere so this is pretty much like the anatomy of the part, per se. And, uh, 
the threads are stronger obviously on metal so you don't want to use threads on plastic so I use metal nuts and then it keeps printing 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 and then I add more fiber and it just keeps printing until, until it's done and it takes about it says in there it takes about a day or so yeah it takes about a day and an eight hours to finish this so it takes a, yeah about a day and a half or so but let me show you some more items too oh this is a stern wheel I made a long time ago it's a three piece stern wheel it has a lot of carbon in it it's fully functional so yeah this stuff really works very strong uh, this is a gauge pod too so if I want to make a custom gauge pad for like a scanline or something that you can really find online or you need quick, this is the best way to do it. This is a paddle shifter for GTR I believe. If you have a race pack and gauges, this is it. This one is cool because it's flexible material. So this is the same material we use to make um, shift boots, bushings, anything that has to be rubber like something I can make too. This one is cool and useful too. This is the uh, fuel pump bracket or mount. It's very light. I mean, it doesn't rust obviously because it's nylon and carbon. So very strong too. So it's not, never gonna rip or break apart. And this is another kind of bracket for the race pack people if you have a race pack. Yeah, I have a lot more items on the website. So all you gotta do is check out everything we have in here so that's everything I pretty much showed you already I have like Supra <laughs> bottle openers for the Supra people flex fuel sensor a bunch of stuff in here alright so later I'm gonna show you this item on the R34 we have I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna show you a dyno session where you can see how helpful this is if you have an RB26 with uh, with like over 20 pounds or so you start to lose spark after a certain uh, amount of boost so it's a good upgrade we came up with a kit that it's pretty much the easiest kit to install ever so it's only this mount actually two mounts, one for the front, one for the rear and we use either uh, R35 coils or the 350Z coils which are exactly the same, it's just the height is different and uh, the cool part is that they're pretty much plug and play because the harness plugs right into these coils 